Story Civic Center has done so much for the area in the way of tourism. Uh, it's a multifaceted facility uh, with concerts, theater, symphony. Uh, Wicked was a very popular show this year. On this Saturday evening in the midst of the holiday season, we welcome you to the heart of America. We're in the Civic Center in Peoria, Illinois. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with Tracy Wilson. We welcome you as Olay presents Ice Wars. Obviously, Caterpillar being here in Peoria as uh, the worldwide headquarters uh, does present some challenges for us in attracting top-notch talent uh, in a smaller rural community like this. We have to put our best foot forward when we bring our candidates in. And the Civic Center is a big help for us on that because it's a beautiful facility. They see that our town has a lot to offer. One of the luxuries that I've had as being a promoter representing this market with the Peoria Civic Center is the um, variety of choices of venue type styles that the Civic Center offers. Every time the auto show expanded is when the Civic Center expanded. So it's kind of funny walking into the Civic Center side A and looking down and you see A and C and now you've got D when originally we used just A. One of the neat things that I remember in terms of uh, the events that we did is a, is a boat show. And I remember being up in the cabin of the boat looking down over the, over the Civic Center uh, and this, at this point we're in A, B and C and this boat was uh, you know, a million dollar boat and um, it, it, I'm looking down and I'm thinking, wow, what a neat place and this is just after we did the expansion. And I tell you what, it's just the move in and set up, we could not have gotten that boat in unless we'd gotten the, the new expanded door in Side C. Sun Foundation has participated with the Civic Center uh, for some 20 years in an event that is the Clean Water Celebration. We have brought 40,000 students together with their teachers and families at the Civic Center. This is the facility that allows that because of its size, its adaptability. My favorite moment uh, as a grandparent must be when I brought my two granddaughters to the circus. Uh, I have never seen a little four-year-old's eyes light up so big, so exciting when the elephants come in and the fact that we have motorcycles flying through the arena, elephants, tigers, and uh, lions and bears, oh my. We have been coming to the Bradley Games together since she was one and a half weeks old. Her first game was uh, in January of 1993. You know, so many people uh, ask us about special moments. There are so many and, and to talk about, but probably the, the three primaries were obviously the uh, Les and the uh, Hawkins era. Um, the second uh, special moment, I think, it, it was, just stands out in my mind was in uh, the 90s when we played uh, Michigan and uh, Eric Roberson came over the top of Tractor Trailer on that monster dunk. And then of course, uh, Chris Roberts' uh, final shot from three quarters, which he shot right in front of us and that was, that was just over the top. In my first year here would have been our second regular season game. We, we hosted Illinois here in the, in the Peoria Civic Center and, and what a huge event that was for the, for the city. And we, pre-game uh, luncheon that day in the exhibit hall and, and then sold out arena with media from, from all over the state and region uh, here for the game um, was certainly a, an exciting way to introduce me to Bradley basketball. Tonight we are going to see a basketball match at the Peoria Civic Center. As we get close we hear a huge roaring sound. The inside of the house is as long as the walk between two villages and is filled to the top with people shouting and clapping. If you become bored of the game, you can watch some happy young women doing tricks. PNC is involved with the Peoria Civic Center in many ways. Um, we utilize the meeting space upstairs on the fourth floor for employee events. Um, as well as client events. Um, we are involved and sponsor the Broadway Theater Series. Um, also, we are a huge sponsor of the Peoria Rivermen. But I would have to say that my favorite event that we have here would be our annual Bradley ISU client event that we have up in the ballroom where we have about 300 of our, of our clients there. Um, we have a pre-game reception. Dave Snell comes and talks to our clients. Um, and then they get to come down and enjoy the game. Opening night against Loyola Chicago. Everybody got special tickets. 
Everybody wore tuxedos, at least the coaching staff did and a lot of the media people did. A lot of great moments in this building and for me, the one that was the most fun I think was the, the night of the East Coast Hockey League uh, Championship, the Kelly Cup team in 99-2000, winning the whole thing. The championship game, 1985, Muskegon here. First Turner Cup championship. The place was jam-packed full. They sold standing room only. I have been to the theater, uh, seen uh, Les Mis and Cats. Don't tell anybody. Well, Les Mis is my favorite. And I would see it every night if I could. And I know Jersey Boys is coming. One of the best events we've had since I've been here is the Gathering of the Juggalos, which was in 2002. It was a three-day event here at the Civic Center, and uh, they used all the three exhibit halls we had at the time. Our theater, they sprayed Fago soda on the audience. Uh, they camped out, they stayed at hotels. It was a great community event. Uh, people were a little skeptical about it, but once they had come and had a good time, they want to have them back. I remember bringing Kiss when, or uh, uh, one time with Elton John, I, um, uh, no, backstage with Metallica, I, uh, when the Eagles came, I remember that we, wow, then there was Barry Manilow. Now he, well, you know, well, I better keep my mouth shut. I love there's a place that I can go and see a Broadway show and I can go and see a hockey game or a basketball game and it's all in one great facility. My favorite moment at the Civic Center is watching the Bradley Braves win, of course. I have seen um, Stumped, I've seen t uh, all of Tyler Perry's shows, they're awesome, I've enjoyed myself, I had so much fun, um, I'm excited to see Mary Poppins. Well, I really like the fact that Peoria gets some Broadway-run shows. I heard the ad about the Jersey Boys at the Civic Center and was really excited. I saw the uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons back in 1970. Trans-Siberian Orchestra uh, um, concert, which uh, we had a really good time. I have tickets for Spamalot and uh, Mary Poppins right now. Uh, we've seen others. We've seen Fan of the Opera, Les Mis. All the musicals, really fun. I love the fact that you bring uh, Broadway to Peoria. Thank you guys. Heading to the uh, hockey games with our families and our family's friends and yeah, the tradition. Yeah, like she said, tradition, a lot of fun. Favorite moment at the Civic Center? Uh, that had to be in 2009 when my wife and I got married in the ballroom. They took really good care of us. It's the best place in town to go for a wedding. The March Madness experience was always great, especially on the days where we had the handicapped kids come in on the Sunday and Tuesday between the A and AA. They were so into it and they played like it was the World Series and it was the Super Bowl and it was the NBA Finals and the IHSA Finals combined. I've worked at the Civic Center for 30 years. Um, it's been a real great place to work. Uh, interesting, uh, but fun. Um, I remember when I first started uh, working behind stage and uh, getting to meet some of the, the stars. Another thing that I got to do that I probably couldn't have done anywhere else was the Pirates games. Had us ride our Harleys out onto the field pre-game, make all kinds of noise, and get the fans riled up. One of the fun things I got to do was put together a group and we backed up Barry Manilow. And also Josh Groban sang the national anthem with uh, the Harlem Globetrotters. I mean, wow. What receptionist gets to do that? On any given night, we could be doing a complete conglomerate of everything from Broadway to heavy metal, um, which brings a great diversity of people. And it's, it's just a very neat place to work.